What's up guys, it's CJ from SmartKTAT.com and today we're benchmarking the Motorola Droid Razor and the HTC Resound Android smartphones. We'll be testing them with Quadrant and Tutu CF Bench, Vilamo the Multi-Touch Test, and Neocore. If you're short on time, check out the description below to skip straight to the results. And as always, I want to throw out a disclaimer that smartphone benchmarks should be taken with a grain of salt. What really matters is how they perform with regular use. So let's go ahead and start the first test here. This is Quadrant. And on the left side we have the Droid Razor, and that sports a dual-core 1.2 GHz Texas Instruments OMAP 4430 processor. On the right side we have the Resound with a dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. I also want to mention the Resound does have a higher resolution display. It's at 720p HD, whereas the Droid Razor has a QHD resolution screen. So it should be wrapping up here shortly. Alright, so we have our results in. So let's take a closer look here. So on the Droid Razor, looks like it scored 2,734. On the Resound, it scored 2,373. And here's the Antutu benchmarking app. Let's go ahead and start that. Now this one has portions where you don't really see much on the screen, so I'm going to skip those parts. Alright, so the scores are in. The Droid Razor scored 6,042 and the Resound scored 4,996. Uh, I've tested these devices previously and there's about a thousand point uh, margin of error, error here. Last time uh, the Droid, Droid Razor scored a little bit lower and the Resound scored a little bit higher. So let's go into the score chart and see how they compare against other devices. And check out the ASUS Transformer Prime uh, tablet there. That's the first quad-core tablet. Blows everything out of the water. Of course, that is a tablet, though. Uh, and here are the other devices. So we have the Galaxy Nexus. The Droid Razor is right here. Galaxy S2. Nexus. Galaxy S2. Optimus 2X. And then we have the Resound. And then the Moto Zoom is below those. So that was Antutu. Let's go ahead and go back here and check out CF Bench. And we'll go ahead and run the full benchmark. Now, this one doesn't show anything at all, so I'll definitely skip ahead of this. Alright, CF Bench has finished doing its thing. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the main results that we care about. So on the Droid Razor, we have a native score of 11,167, a Java score of 2,944, and an overall score of 6,233. On the Resound, we have a native score of 9,194, a Java score of 1,613, and, and an overall score of 4,645. So you can see how they compare to other devices. It looks like the Galaxy S2 is on top. Droid Razor is next. And then you can see the Resound is down over here. Let's go back home. 
and pull up Vilamo. I'll go with no and start the test. This one takes a really long time, but what's interesting with this one is that it actually tests out the uh, web browsing performance. So we'll let that load up here and cycle through all of these tests. I'll probably skip many portions though. All right, after a long wait, these scores are in. The Droid Razor scored 1,023, and the Resound scored 921. Let's go ahead and tap on Yes and see how they compare in a graph. All right, might have to get a little closer with this one. So here we go. Second from the top is the Droid Razor. And you can see how that compares. The device on the very top is actually a phone, I believe, from China. All right, now let's compare that to the Resound. The Resound score is actually fifth from the top. You may find this next test kind of interesting. It's the multi-touch test. So let's load that up and start with the Resound. This one will tell you how many simultaneous touch points the display recognizes. So I'm going to put all five fingers on the screen. And you can see it only recognizes uh, four fingers. So one, two, three, four, and the fifth finger is not recognizing. Which is fine because basic multi-touch gestures only require two fingers. Uh, they may introduce some that require maybe four fingers but again you're covered uh, so not really a big deal it's more like a fun fact the droid razor on the other hand will recognize all ten points if you use both hands so one two three four hold on let me try to fit this in here five six seven well, six seven eight nine and ten you can see uh, the number 9 right there and the input starts with 0 so that's 10 total so many more points recognized with the droid razor finally let's end the video by running neocore and we'll go ahead and start this one up this is the one with all those robots flying around and tanks on the ground and the Tokyo Tower in the background Alright, it looks like we're done here, so 59.2 and 59.4 frames per second. Alright, so that's it for this benchmarking video. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Again, all scores will be posted in the description as well as on smartktai.com. Our next video will be covering gaming performance on both of these devices, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.